merits of bohr's model of atom first point bohr's model could explain the stability of an atom this model could explain the stability of an atom that is electron revolving around the nucleus in a particular orbit this orbit cannot lose energy this the energy of this orbits are fixed okay therefore loss of energy by the electron and falling into the nucleus does not arise as in the case of through the force model okay so he could easily explain the stability of an atom this is the first point now second point post model can calculate the radius of an orbit okay post model could explain the radius of the particular orbit that is radius rn will be equal to n square a0 okay work a0 equal 0.529 armstrong or we can say 52.9 picometer pm okay so if we know n in which orbit it is the n can be calculated okay so from that value we can easily calculate the radius of that particular orbit okay so we can say rn is equal to 0.529 n square armstrong okay if n is equal to 1 that means the electron is in the ground state okay so rn will be equal to 0.529 1 square is 1 so Armstrong. This will be the radius of first orbit, and this is called as Bohr radius. This first orbit is called as Bohr radius. Okay. Third point, Bohr's theory helped in calculating the energy of an electron in a particular orbit of hydrogen atom. That is E n. Will be equal to minus one by R H. R H is the Rydberg constant by n square, where n is equal to one, two, three, etc. R H is Rydberg constant. Okay, and the value of R H is equal to two point one eight into ten to the two minus eighteen two. Okay, so for ground state, what will be the E n value? E n is equal to n is equal to one. So minus two point one eight into ten raised to minus eighteen. One by n square is one. So this much you. This is E n for ground state. Okay, so like this we can calculate the energy of different orbits. Okay, when electron transition is takes place at n is equal to infinity. from n is equal to infinity to a lower energy level at this case the hydrogen is in the ionized state okay that means ionized state which means that there is no nuclear attraction for this electrons present in the atom in the uh, at n is equal to infinity okay this means that the energy of this en the energy will be zero okay so energy at this stage that is n is equal to infinity will be zero then coming to the next stage energy is released okay or energy is emitted when we move nuclear energy is emitted okay and energy is lowering that is why en is having a 
negative value or we can say energy is released energy is lowering from zero so the value of en is negative okay fourth point bose model is applicable to hydrogen like species example helium plus then lithium 2 plus beryllium 3 plus all this contains one electron each okay so uh, this model is applicable to all these species okay en of such systems can be calculated that is en is equal to minus 2.18 into 10 raised to minus 18 into z square by n square joule okay where z is the atomic number of particular species okay so rn will be equal to 0.529 that is into uh, n into n square okay so we have to divide by z this much be the this will be the radius this much Armstrong will be the radius of particular species so we have to divide by z z is the atomic number so by using these two equations we can calculate the en and rn of hydrogen like species okay and from this we can see that as z increases atomic number increases what will happen to radius radius decreases okay that means the electrons are more boundly uh, more tightly bound okay and en the energy en released or negative value of en increases okay increases or more energy is released okay as z increases okay whereas rn decreases as z increases okay next important point fifth point velocity of electrons in the orbit can be calculated by using this equation v velocity of the electron will be equal to 2.188 into 10 raised to 6 into z by n meter per second it is already uh, derived from the other equations okay so velocity can be calculated next next point number of revolutions per second number of revolution per second by an electron in an orbit which is called as the orbital frequency okay this can be calculated that is equal to 6.66 into z square by n cube into 10 raised to 15 second inverse or hertz okay now next point time taken to complete one revolution by an electron in an orbit which is called as time period time period can be calculated time period is equal to 1 by orbital frequency okay which is equal to 1.5 into 10 raised to minus 16 n q z square so all these values of electrons can be calculated by Bose model this is another merit of Bose model